China is on the brink of a new revolution. A revolution in design. Young Chinese innovators are exploding onto the design scene with fresh and mind-blowing creations. They're working in new ways, building creative businesses, which proudly proclaim, designed in China. Fashion is big business in China. By 2020, the fashion industry here could be worth 207 billion US dollars. Up till now, Western brands have ruled supreme, but times are changing. In this program, we look at three very different fashion designers, selling to different markets with price tags to match. From high-end Chinese haute couture, to hip designs for the new urban street scene. 我一开始做这个品牌的时候，并不是就说我就是想要把它做一个品牌，而是我自己想要做几件衣服，然后自己穿，那是一个兴趣。To modern fashion for the independent woman. 这个你是在别的地方找不着，可是我又能搭出自己的范儿出来。These homegrown designers want to reclaim the hearts and minds of Chinese fashionistas, and in doing so, lead China out of the foothills of fashion. This Beijing office block may blend in from the outside, but take a look inside. It's home to one of China's best established haute couture designers, Guo Pei. She makes fashion fantasy come true for the mega rich. She hit it big at the Beijing Olympics when she designed this amazing gown. And since then, admirers such as Lady Gaga have asked to wear her stunning creations and international designers flock to her Beijing studio. How are you, my dear? <laughs> I'm very well. The lady in red today. <laughs> Guo Pei is a titan in the Chinese fashion world. She has an understanding of the fashion scene here that few possess, thanks to her 20 years in the industry. Guo Pei decided to embark on a career in fashion when such a career was unheard of. Through a combination of sheer hard work, attention to detail and luck, she has worked her way up, and it's precisely where she intends to stay, at the very top. One thousand kilometers away in Shanghai lives rookie designer Li Dengting. He was just a baby when Guo Pei started out. He's a one-man band with his foot on the first rung of the fashion ladder. He actually fell into fashion by chance, and it all started when he went out on his bike. Uh, 
Until now, he's designed his entire collection on the 23rd floor of this Shanghai high-rise, where even his bedroom doubles as a pocket-sized studio. Finally, meet fashion designer Ji Chung, who also works in Shanghai. Recently, she has noticed a new trend in fashion. Like many young Chinese, Ji Chang went abroad to study. She chose to learn her craft in the Italian city of Milan. Ji Chung worked for European design houses before returning home to found her own label in 2002. She's called it La Vie, the French word for life. Today, she has concessions in high-end malls in Shanghai and Beijing. And her clothes are also sold in shops in Kuwait and Seoul. Jacket 也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也也
那个呃一个服装品牌，你给别人第一印象肯定是视觉语言，就是他看到你这个服装整个品牌的一个呃形象很突出，或者是给别人留下很深刻的印象。His designs sell alongside other local brands in a concept store in Shanghai's coolest neighborhood. Store owner Richie Chan is a huge fan. First time I met Hei, I felt he had a unique style. 呃，独特的个人风格跟一个强烈的视觉元素，是在店里面的其他品牌嗯比较少见到的。Richie strives to challenge the creative limits of fashion. He champions independent designers like Li Dengting. 其实你上一个系列发布就有点晚了嘛，它出来的时候已经是春夏了。嗯。就是他对于他对于那个自己特别坚持，就是特别喜欢的东西，有一种非常强烈的坚持，就是他一定会进行到底。就他运用很多那个中国传统的呃面料啊，或者是制衣的技巧啊，但是同时他整体的那个品牌。呃，风格跟氛围是又是挺呃前卫跟现代的，所以就是这两者的结合，使到鹤变成一个很有呃那独特性很强的品牌。Li Dengting finds inspiration in ancient Chinese philosophy. 这件衣服是我刚刚新出的一个小系列里边的一件衣服，然后这件衣服它实际上是我是运用了一个又是中国的那个道教的道袍的一个型来做的一件衣服。我家里人都很多是有信仰道教，然后我自己从小也对道教很感兴趣。我在上面做了一些，除了有我的一个小小的 logo 以外，还。有一些比较哦细节的地方，就是呃，我用的扣子是我之前定做的那个呃扣子，然后它里边是有放嗯，就是五谷五谷杂粮，那个五谷里边有哦那个绿豆啊、小米啊、黑米啊那些放到这个扣子里边去，就它会感觉很中国。中国文化在我的服装里边，它是一它是一种意象，而不是嗯、呃、一种表象。它背后的话也是有一个像我今天衣服穿的一个如镇清宁，就我会给很多衣服都加一些这种，就是有好的寓意的一些成语在上面，来就感觉别人哎是那个皇上赐给你的衣服，对。Shanghai-based Ji Cheng has her eye on the international market. Yet she too gets her inspiration squarely from Chinese culture. Every year, we are using a Chinese story to explain a situation. Today, she is finalizing her latest collection, which she must present to international fashion journalists and buyers in four weeks' time. The first step in her design process was watching a traditional Chinese opera, Pini Pavilion. Ji Chung has made this stylized film, retelling the story as a novel way of showcasing her collection. Peony Pavilion was written by Tang Xianzu in the 1500s. Even today, it's considered risque. This woman is called Du Linyang. She is a Da Jia Show. 睡下去以后呢，做梦就梦到了，在梦境中问到了一个。男生，他们就也其实就像一夜情一样的故事。但是醒过来发现啊，原来是一场梦，这个男的根本不存在的。The love story influenced every design choice Ji Chang made. She chose sensuous cuts and shapes and picked pastel shades. 那既然是这么浪漫的一个故事，那从所有的色彩，我希望就是营造一个也很适合春天，因为是春夏的系列。呃，那把它糅合在一起，我觉得这个色彩非常的有这个时装感。那我们在整个这个设计当中呢，我就是第一是以色彩是我非常呃追随的，第二呢是我们很希望就是把中国的一些小小的 detail 的东西都加在这个里面。就是这个形、这个领子和这个开叉，都是一个中国的一些小的 detail， 但是你在现在是可以穿的。
One secret of any designer's success is finding their own niche. Li Dung Ting creates unique clothes for the young urban set. Ji Chung's market is sophisticated and affluent. Her customers like to mix and match designers. While the most successful of our designers creates bespoke garments for the rich and famous. As one of China's most established high-end couturiers, Guo Pei has an enviable client list of Beijing's glitterati. And with more than two decades worth of experience,